method programa we said that we we're going to do an exams today but due to some uh, schedules unfortunately we won't do the exams today but by next week we'll just call a few people to come to the studio and then we'll do the exams with them on what we have been learning so far so once again i hope that everyone has got their pen and their paper ready and is listening to let's speak dutch with ama frimpo ma Nogmaals een hele goede middag iedereen en welkom naar Let's Speak Dutch with Louisa. For the past four weeks, I've been speaking Dutch with each other on the radio and I've been learning some things um, about how to introduce yourself, how to have a conversation with someone that you don't know, how to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how to tell someone um, how you are doing, but also how to let someone know which country you're coming from. Uh, which languages that you speak, whether you're married or not, whether you have kids or not, and also your means and transportations to your workplace, your office, your school, or wherever that you go to. So that is what we have been learning for the past four weeks. We also learned the uh, days of the week, maandag, dinsdag, and the uh, months of the year, januari, februari, maart. We were supposed to do an exams today based on everything that we've learned so far, but unfortunately due to some rescheduling we have to put it to next week and then some people will come to the studio and they will do the exams with them and see what they have been learning so far and a person who has the most correct by the way everyone from home can also join us during those exams you can join us during those exams by calling in uh on our telephone number which is 070 737 Zero seven zero seven three seven zero five zero seven, or you can then call us on a WhatsApp line. Not today, but next week, which is plus three one six eight four zero seven five two six six, plus three one six eight four zero seven five two six six. So by next week, we'll do the exams with you all. So for today, we're going to learn something new. Yes, we're going to learn something new. We're going to learn some words, but also. Um, when to we're also going to learn when to say um, the words so for example if there is one a in a sentence how you're going to pronounce it and if there are multiple a's like two a's in a sentence to how you are going to pronounce it so that is what we are going to be learning today as well yes so i hope that once again everyone has gotten their pen and their paper ready and we will be right back with let's speak dutch with ama from poma Nogmaals een hele goede middag iedereen. Vandaag gaan we weer wat nieuws leren bij Let's Speak Dutch met Louisa. Mijn Ghanese naam is Amma Frimpoma en daarom zei ik ook Let's Speak Dutch with Amma Frimpoma. Ik uh, wil iedereen die ons live aan het kijken is op Facebook even groeten. Everyone that is watching us live on Facebook. Een hele goede middag, a very good afternoon to you all. So like I said, we're going to learn how to pronounce uh, some of the words and when to use, uh, or at least how to pronounce it. So for example, the substantive noun word, which is, let's say, for example, a woman, we're going to learn uh, when it's multiple, so when it's more women, how to say that in Dutch. So a singular is de vrouw, which is the woman, de vrouw, the woman. 
and if it's multiple is the frauen which is the women the frauen which is multiple and the frau which is singular the friend which is the friend the frienden which is the friends the month which is the month the manden which is the months the feet the bike the fietsen the bikes the train which is the train the treinen which is the trains so one thing that you've noticed is in dutch when it's multiple they add en to the word so frau frauen vriend vrienden maand maanden fiets fietsen trein treinen so once it's more than one they add en to the word and pronounce it that way so frau frau n so frauen vriend vrienden maand maanden fiets fietsen trein treinen that is how you pronounce them and then other words like the brief the briefen which is letter brief is letter so the brief the briefen the man the mannen the man the men the vriendin which is a female friend the vriendinnen the bus the bussen the les the lesson the class the klassen so you've noticed that once it's multiple so once it's more than one person or one object then it's en added to it so the less which is the lesson the lesson the lessons the class the class the klassen the classes the vriendin the female friend so vriendin is female friend and friend is a male friend not, not necessarily like a boyfriend and a girlfriend but if someone is your male friend then you say the friend or mein friend and if it's a female friend then you say vriendin but you can also use it to say that is my boyfriend or that is my girlfriend so that's my vriendin which is my girlfriend that is my friend which is my boyfriend so you can use it in both ways friend can mean simple uh, simply friend which is a male friend but it can also mean uh, your boyfriend and a friend then which is your female friend but can also mean your girlfriend less are lessons or in class are classes classes that you follow so a, a class in a school or classes that you follow online or anywhere else and then the man of course is just the man the mannen is the men so in dutch they say mannen which is men the brief is letter and on the briefen which is multiple is the letters and they also have the naam which is the name the namen which is the name so with these words in when you write it in a singular form it's n a e and then m or there are two a's or two e's in the word so for example nam is with two a's when you say namen which is multiple you write it with one a but you say it um the same way that you say nam so nam namen tal which is language talen which is multiple languages vague vacan so weak and then the other one is weeks vacan is weeks the vraag which is the question the vragen which is the questions the vraag the vragen the week the vacan the taal the talen the naam the namen the klas the klassen the les the lesson the bus the bussen the vriend the vrienden the vriendinnen the vriendin the man the mannen the brief the brieven the trein the treinen the fiets the fietsen the maan the also the maand the maanden and then the vrouw the vrouwen but there are also words in dutch that when you put it in um in plural it ends with an s instead of an e n and those are words like jongen so the jongen the jongens which is the boy the boys the tram 
the trams so you don't say the tremen we say the trams which is a, a tram and then trams the daughter which is the daughter and then the daughters so it's not the daughteren but it's the daughters so the daughter the daughters and then the zoon which is the son but with the zoon you can either say the zonen or the zones so with son both are possible the zoon the zones or the zonen they have the auto so a u is pronounced as au in dutch au so the auto which is the car and autos which are cars auto which is car and autos are cars and then you have het kind which is the child so with kind is basically the same as in um in english because you say a child and children which is plural so a child is singular and children are plural so in dutch it it's um het kind which is the child and the kinderen which is the children this het kind and the kinderen het kind and the kinderen which is the child and the children so those are what we say uh we'll call selfstandige naam worden i'll look for the dutch sorry the english translation of that and let you know what selfstandige naam worden are selfstandige naam worden those are nouns yes now i have it correct so what we just learned are the nouns in a singular and in a plural form so once again let's repeat it we have the vrouw the vrouwen the vriend the vrienden the maand the maanden the fiets the fietsen the trein the treinen the brief the brieven the man the mannen the vriendin the vriendinnen the bus the bussen the less the lesson the class the klassen so what you notice about these uh, five nouns that i've pronounced so from man vriendin bus less and class is when you write it in a plural form there is an extra n or there's an extra s to the word for for example man when you write it in plural is m a n n e n and then vriendin you add an extra n to it bus so the last letter with which it ends when you write it in plural you add it to it so bus bussen which is double s less lesson which is double s e n vraag vragen oh sorry klas klassen which is also double s e n and then when it comes to naam so in the singular form you write it with double a but in the plural form you write it with one a the same thing goes for vague in a singular form you write it with two e's in a plural form we write it with one e so naam namen taal talen week weken vraag vragen and then you have words like jongen trem dochter and zoon with which in a plural form you write only an s you only add an s to it so it's not with e n like most words are but it ends with an s so the jongens the trams the daughters the zones which is the boys the tram the daughters and the sons and then a word like kindra which has the same uh, as in english basically has kids which is a child and then the kindren is the children so those are the nouns that we learned have a uh, different forms when you write it in dutch So let's go on to uh pronunciation. So how to pronounce some things and how to spell it. A word like bal because it has one a it, it's a. So you say bal and not bal. So bal because it has one a it's bal. When it has two a it's a. So one a is a and two a's are a. So for example, naam a because it has two a's and bal which has one a is just an a you have zon which is sun o so if it has one o then it's o zon 
And if it has two O's, then it's O. So zone, zon. Zone, which is sun. Sun as in your sun, as in oh, your child sun. And you have the sun as in the sun that's outside shining on people. So they both have different spellings and different meanings as well. But in Dutch, you spell it the same thing as in English, you spell it differently. So in Dutch, sun is Z O N, the sun that shines outside. But someone's sun, zone, which is Z O O N. So if it's one O, it's O, zone, on, O. And if it's two, then it's O. So zone or boom. So with the A, if it's one A, it's A, bow. And if it's two A's, it's A, man, nam, ban. Those are all two A's. So if the spelling has two A's, it's A. If, it's, if it has one A, it's A. If the spelling has one O, it's O. And if it has two O's, it's O. So boom and zone. So once again, if you have a word and the word has one O, it's O. So um, for example, zon or boom, which has one O. But if it has two O's, then it's O. So boom or zone. Boom or zone. If it has one A, then it's A, which is ball. If it has two A's, then it's A, man, nam. Man, nam. So if what we're learning or what I'm teaching today is a bit confusing and you want to call us and ask questions about it, that is possible. You can call us on 070 737 or you can also call us on our WhatsApp line, which is plus three one six eight four zero seven five two six six plus three one six sorry plus three one six eight four zero seven five two six six. You can call us on that as well. This is Let's Speak Dutch with Louisa that you are listening to. We just did some nouns. We looked at the spelling, we looked at the pronunciation, we looked at how you say it in the plural form and also how some of the words, the spelling is different in plural form. For example, jongen in plural, it's jongens, it just has an X to it. And then when it comes to vrienden and vriendinnen, it has a double N or double S to it. And then you have the normal nouns like the man, the vriend, the vrouw, which has E-N at the end of the plural form so let's go on to verbs so what are some of the basic and simple verbs that you need to know in a dutch language that you use let's say on a daily basis the first one is hate hate so for example ik hate which means uh my name is ik hate and then you can say ik hate lovisa ik hate abna it hates Kojo, it hates Kofi, it hates Mustafa, it hates uh, different, different type of names that you can add to my. It hates means my name is. It hates my name is. We can say hi hate, his name is, or Sai hate, her name is. So it hates my name is. It von, I live at. It von. I live or I live at this. For example, ik woon in Den Haag. It means I live in The Hague. Ik woon, I live in. I live. Hij woont, he lives, or zij woont. So what is a he or she form in Dutch? You add a T to the verb. So ik hate, hij heet. But because there's already a T at the end of hate, you'd have to add an extra T. But if there's no T in the verb, for example, vone, then in the he or she form, you add an extra T. You add a T to it. So, hi vone't, say vone't, ik vone, hi vone't, ik hate, hi hate, ik kom, I come, hi komt, he comes, ik kom. Hij komt of zij komt. Ik spreek, I speak. 
Hij spreekt. He speaks or she speaks. Zij spreekt. Zo so, ik kom. Ik woon. Ik heet. Ik spreek. Hij heet. Hij woont. Hij komt. Hij spreekt. Of zij spreekt. Zij heet. Zij woont. Zij komt. So it depends on whether it's a he or a she that you are using. So some of the simple um, verbs that we use on a daily basis, like I said, is ik heet. Ik woon. Ik kom. Ik spreek. And also, ik schrijf, ik luister, or ik luister naar, so I listen to, ik schrijf is I write, ik lees is I read, ik lees is I read. So, ik heet, ik woon, ik kom, ik spreek, ik schrijf, ik luister, or ik luister naar, ik lees. Those are mostly the verbs that we use in a uh, our daily lives and when it comes to the he or the she form zij heet zij woont zij spreekt zij schrijft zij luistert zij leest those are the he and the she form of those verbs so hate is um my name is so to to be called ik woon is to live kom is to come, spreek is to speak, schrijf is to write, luisteren naar is to listen to, and lees is to read. Ik lees is I read. Hij leest, he reads, zij leest, she reads. Ik ben is I am. Ik ben is I am. Hij is is he is. So you see that there's some similarities when it comes to um, English. I am is ik ben hij is is he or she is so with that there are some similarities to it when it comes to the english language ik heb is i have and then hij heeft is he has hij heeft he has ik heb i have and when it's multiple people so not just he or she but there are multiple people involved and you want to say um they are called or they live or they are coming or they are speaking they say zij wonen zij komen zij spreken zij heten zij schrijven zij luisteren zij lezen that is what when you are referring to someone else but if you are part of the conversation you're saying we so zij is they and zij is also she so in dutch you can use the word zij which is z-i-j you can use it in two forms you can use it to address a group of people but you can also use it to address a female there's zij komt which means she's coming or she comes and zij komen is they are coming or they come so the word zij can be used in two ways zij to address a group of people and Zai to just address a female. So one person, but then it's a female. So no, you can't use it for a he because he is high, but Zai is either for a group of people or for a female. So ik ben, hij is, wij zijn, or zij zijn. So I am, he is, they are, or we are. Ik heb, Hij heeft, zij hebben, or zij, of wij hebben. So, I have, he or she has, we have, or they have. So, just like English, that it changes uh, depending on what you are using. So, let's put out some questions based on the verb that we have learned. And then you can also answer us. So, for example, who hate jij is what is your name? And you answer by saying, ik hate, for example, Lina or Omar. Ik hate Lina or Omar. Who hate jij? Or who hates your zone? Which is if you're asking someone what the name of his or her son 
is. So who hates your zone? So what is the name of your son? I hate. And then you say, for example, Omar or whatever the name of your son is. This who hates Yai is referring to you. So what is your name? And who hates your zone or your daughter is when someone is asking what the name of your son or your daughter is. You can also ask who hates your tante, which is your auntie, who hates your own, who hates um, your man, who hates your frau. We're just asking what the name of the partner is, whether a husband or a wife. And then, varvoniae, varvoniae, which means where do you live? Varvoniae. And with that, you answer with, ik woon in Den Haag. Ik woon in Utrecht, depending on where the person lives. But you can also ask where someone lives. So, for example, waar woont Vincent? So, where does Vincent live? Waar woont Vincent? And they answer by saying, hij woont in Amsterdam, for example. Hij woont in Amsterdam. Dus waar woont Vincent? Hij woont in Amsterdam. Or waar woon jij? Ik woon in Den Haag. Or hoe lang woon jij al in Nederland? So that is how long have you been living in the Netherlands? How long have you been living in the Netherlands? Hoe lang woon jij in Nederland? So if you have the feeling that the person has lived in Holland for a long time, then you can say hoe lang woon jij al in Nederland? That is if you're referring to um, a long period of time. But if you don't know how long the person has lived, or if you don't have an indication of how long the person has lived in Holland, you just simply ask, Hoe lang woon jij in Nederland? And with that, you can answer by saying, Ik woon al tien jaar in Nederland, or Ik woon nog maar vijf maanden in Nederland. So depending on how long you have lived. So that's what we also talked about last week. Well, uh, Trinity... Kwame, or say, waar woon jij? Uh, ik woon in Heemskerk. Nou, uh, Kwame, leuk dat je even naar ons luistert en dat je vanuit Heemskerk ook naar ons luistert. Trinity Kwame woont in Heemskerk en wij wonen in Den Haag en doen ook het programma vanuit onze studio in Den Haag. You can also ask, uit welk land kom jij? Which means, which country do you come from? Uit welk land kom jij? Which country? Do you come from? And that you can reply by saying, Ik kom uit, for example, Ghana. Ik kom uit Ghana. Ik kom uit Marokko. Ik kom uit China. Ik kom uit Turkije. So that all depends on which country you are coming from. And then you answer by saying, Ik kom uit. And then you add the country to it. So, welk taal or welke talen spreek jij? So, which language or languages? So, like I said, taal is uh, singular and talen is plural. Dus één taal, twee talen. Dus welke talen of welke taal spreek jij? Like I also explained uh, last week and some weeks ago as well. You have the jij and the u. So, jij is when you are referring to someone of your own age, someone that you are good with, or someone that um, is of the same age or someone that you are familiar with. That is when you use yeah, Trinity or say, come out Ghana. The out is U E T. So it's not O U T, maar U E T. That is it come out. That's how you say um, out. But thank you so much for your answer and let us know that you speak perfect Dutch as I can see. Ik kom uit. Ghana. Nou, gelukkig. En jij woont in Heemskerk ook, zie ik. So, the next question is, welke taal spreek jij? Welke taal spreek jij? So, which language do you speak? And that you can answer by saying, ik spreek Nederlands, or ik spreek Ghanees, ik spreek Engels. So, that all depends on which language you speak. And if you speak multiple languages, they say, ik spreek Nederlands en Ghanees. Or ik spreek Engels en Ghanees. Or ik spreek Engels, Ghanees en een beetje Nederlands. So it depends on how good your Dutch is. So een beetje is a little bit. Een beetje is a little bit. So the questions that you can ask based on the verbs that we learned once again is Hoe heet jij? 
Hoe ga je naar de les? So how do you go to your classes, your lessons? Hoeveel talen spreek jij? Waar woon jij? Hoe lang woon je al in Nederland? Of waar kom je vandaan? Uit welk land kom jij? Of welke talen spreek jij? So those are the questions that you can ask based on the verbs that we have learned so far. So let's repeat what we've learned so far before we continue. We learned some of the nouns. Let's see what Kwame say. Maar ik niet meer daar. Um, Kwame, can you please explain to us what exactly you mean? Because the sentence is not complete yet. We are missing a, a verb in the sentence. So if you can please add a verb to it. Okay, I think you are referring to the ik kom uit Ghana. But then saying ik, ik ben niet meer daar. I think you're trying to say ik ben niet meer daar. Please correct me if I am wrong. Ik ben maar ik ben niet meer daar. Which means you come from Ghana but you are no longer there. Dus ik kom uit Ghana maar ik ben Niet meer daar. Ik ben. I think you've forgotten one verb, which is ben. Ik ben niet meer daar. I am no longer there. I hope that it is correct. So once again, let's repeat the nouns that we learned and how to say it in a singular form and in a plural form. So the first one is de vrouw, de vrouwen, de vriend, de vrienden, de maand, de maanden. De fiets, de fietsen, de trein, de treinen, de brief, de brieven, de man, de mannen, de vriendin, de vriendinnen, de bus, de bussen, de les, de lessen, de klas, de klassen, de naam, de namen, de taal. De talen, de week, de weken, de vraag, de vragen, de jongen, de jongens, de tram, de trams, de dochter, de dochters, de zoon, de zoons. So those are the nouns that we learned and how to say it in the plural form. So like I also said there are some words that at least the way to pronounce it if there is one a in a sentence then it's a so the ball the ball and then if it's more two or more a's it's a okay trinity says now nah, i stay in france i was in holland 2011 to 2013 but he's in france now okay does have us he is new in frankrijk Hij was in Nederland in 2011 tot 2013, maar nu is hij in Frankrijk. Oké, okay. dankjewel. Dus je komt uit Ghana, maar je bent nu niet meer in Nederland. Dus je was eerst in Nederland, maar je bent nu niet meer in Nederland. Nu ben je in Frankrijk. So if I ask, waar woon jij? Then you can let me know where in France that you live. And if I ask, waar kom jij vandaan? You can say, ik kom uit Ghana, for, like you said. And then, waar woon je nu? In welk land woon je nu? Then you can say, ik woon in Frankrijk. So, in welk land woon je nu? Ik woon in Frankrijk. Ja. Yeah. So, like I said, the A is A. One A is A. And two A's is A. So, bal. 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 Naam. Na a, so which has two a's, so naam, bal, naam, bal, man, fall, man, fall. So if it's one a, it's a, and if it's two, then it's a. The same goes for the o. If it's one o, it's o, and if it's two, it's o. So zon, o, and zone, zon, zone. Bom, boom, o, o. See the difference. So if it's one o, it's o. If it's two, it's o. And then on to um, grammatics. So the verbs, at least most of the verbs that we normally, not most of it, but some of the verbs that we normally use in our daily lives is 
hate, so ik hate, my name is, so ik heet Trinity. Ik woon in Frankrijk. Ik kom uit Ghana en ik spreek Engels, Frans, Ghanese en een beetje Nederlands. So in your case, you speak three, oh sorry, four languages. So ik spreek Engels, ik spreek Ghanese, ik spreek Frans en een beetje Nederlands, depending on uh, if you speak all these languages. So, ik heet Trinity, ik woon in Frankrijk, ik kom uit Ghana en ik spreek vier talen. You can just simply say, if you don't want to specify the languages that you speak, you can just also say, ik spreek één taal, ik spreek twee talen, ik spreek drie talen, ik spreek vier talen. So, depending on the amount of languages that you speak. Yes, beetje Nederlands, je spreekt inderdaad een beetje Nederlands. And three is inderdaad boom. Just that how you spell it now, you say o, oh, so it'll be boom. But if it's two o's, then it's boom, which is a tree. A boom is a tree. But a boom is, is a boom, like the dangerous one. So boom is boom, but boom with two o's, that is indeed a tree. So like we already asked the question is based on the verb. So who hate yai or who hate your zone? Who ga jij naar de les? Who gaat naima naar de les? Hoeveel talen spreek jij? Hoeveel talen spreekt naima? Hoeveel kinderen heeft naima? Waar kom jij vandaan? Waar komt naima vandaan? Hoe lang woon jij al in Nederland? Hoe lang woon jij al in Nederland? En welk land kom jij? Welke taal spreek jij? Welke talen spreek jij? So those are the basics um, questions that you can ask based on the verbs that we learned today. So here are some of the yes and no questions. So questions that you can just simply ask by saying yes or no. You don't have to like give any further explanation to it. Ben jij getrouwd? Which is are you married? Yes or no? Ja of nee? You can also say ja, ik ben getrouwd. Or nee, ik ben niet getrouwd. But you can also just simply ask, uh, sorry, you can also simply answer ja of nee. Is hij gescheiden? Ja of nee. Is hij divorced? Yes or no. Heb jij kinderen? Ja of nee. Heb jij kinderen? Ja of nee. Heeft zij een auto? Does she have a car? Yes or no. What Trinity says, he loves the Dutch language, but Holland people did not allow me to stay. Oh, so I moved to France. Now I have, <laughs> well, I mean, at least it's good news that you have a stay in France now. But you can also always come and visit us in time. And France is part of the EU, so now you have even better opportunity to, to come back to Holland. Yes. If you come back now, the people let you stay. Why? Woon jij in Den Haag? Do you live in The Hague? Yeah. Of nee. So with that, you don't have to explain by saying, yeah, I live in Den Haag, or no, I live in Den Haag. You can just simply say, yeah, or no. Woon he al lang in Nederland? Yeah, or no. Oh, leuk. He has three kindjes. Oh, leuk. Trinity has three kindjes, says he. Now, that's super leuk. Spreek hij Nederlands, or spreekt zij Chinese? So these are questions that you can ask simply by saying, yeah, or no. This, yeah. Of nee. So let's practice with some of the words that I was saying that if it's one A, you say A, ah, and if it's two A's, you say A. Ah. So you have month, which is basket, maand, which is the month, rat, which is a rat, and then a rat, which is those B things. Those that are watching me on Facebook, you can just view it. This is the page. Let me show you all. So, this is an rat, this is an rat, and it is an rat. So, a, a rat is a rat, and a rat is those holes where bees, uh, they make honey inside. I hope that you can see it. And then we have a mat, which is a doormat, and a mat, which is those cups that you use to measure uh the measurement cups so when you're cooking you have to measure how many liters of something that you need that's a mat actually they call it a mat baker a mat baker so a mat 
is those cups that you use to measure things. And then you also have Unzok, which is a bag. Unzak, which is a business. Zok, Zak. Hak, which is a heel. Hak, which is a hook. Ram, which is um, goats. The, the, I don't even have to describe <laughs> those goats with, with the horns. I think a bull. They call it a bull, which is a ram. And a ram, which is a window. Bart, which is the name of someone. And Bart, a beard. Ball, a ball. And ball, which is uh, when you have, uh, I think, hay. That's what they call it. The grass that they, they gather to feed uh, animals when they make like a book of it. That's what they call a um, bow, which is this. Those that are watching me on Facebook, I can show you. Which is this one. Ooh. This is a um, bow, this one. I hope that you can see it. And then you also have the man, which is the man. And the man, which is the moon, and lots, which is um, a ruler, and lads, which is late. So now you know the difference um, with the a ah and the a. Ah. It's just a letter difference, but the word can mean something totally different just with that. Trinity, Trinity says, I have stayed in Den Haag. I was... Uh, Kenmer, Croatia, and I moved to Amsterdam North, near Harlem, uh, out, out Okay, dus je woonde eerst in Den Haag, en je was Kenmer, Kenmer, Croatia. That is the one you have to explain to me a little bit more. I moved to Amsterdam North, okay, near Harlem. Dat klopt. Uh, alleen de uitkassen weet ik niet precies wat je bedoelt. Dus als je die mij een beetje uit kan leggen. Dan zou dat helemaal super zijn. Dank je wel. Dus je hebt mand, maand, rat, raad, mat, maat, zak, zaak, hak, haak, ram, raam, bart, baard, bal, bal, man, maan, lat, laat. So it's just one letter difference, but it can mean something totally different as you can see. So when you're writing it, make sure that you write it um, correct before someone misinterprets what you mean. Like Trinity wrote, tree is bomb. A bomb is, is a bomb, but a bomb, yes, that is a tree. So let's repeat uh, what we learned one more time and then we try in a round of four to day and then like i said next week next week we're going to gather some people here and then we will do the exams yes everything that we've learned so far i hope that you to you'll be here to next week next week same time same channel will be here i hope that you'll be here and join the exams you can win something but unfortunately you're not in the netherlands but maybe you can win something for someone that you know here and then gift it to that person we're going to do a small exams on everything that we've been learning so far so if today is the first time that you're watching you can just go to ghana pictures and uh, videos but also to word fm's page and then just rewind to everything that we have been learning so far from day one and you can also watch us live on uh, facebook yes we do have a number that you can call i'll write the number in the comment section so you can call in uh, next week as well we have a whatsapp number and we have a landline number you can then call in and participate in the competition and if you win uh you can just gift it to someone else or you can keep it yourself so at least i want to write the number in the comment section before we close for today don't worry so next time you can call in which is next week at one next week we will start on time unfortunately today we didn't start on time uh which was uh 1 p.m normally we start at 1 p.m but unfortunately today we started a bit later but next week we'll start at exactly 1 p.m we'll have our classmates here for the week we'll have people here who will be doing exams with us and those that want to call in online to and participate in it will be more than happy to welcome you so let's go um through the verbs one more time the singular form and the plural form and then we'll learn 
the a ah and the a ah, but also the verbs and the questions that you can ask the question that you only simply have to answer yes or no to you don't have to do um, any long thing be yeah. but you can also give a long answer if you prefer to and then the a ah and the a ah, like i already said so the frau which is the woman the frauen the friend the friend the frienden the month the month the manden the feet the bike the fietsen the train the train the treinen the brief the letter the brieven the man the man the mannen the friendin the female friend the friendinnen the bus the bus the bussen the less the lecture the lesson the class the class the klassen the naam the name the namen the tall the language the talen the the week the week the weken the vraag the question the vragen the jongen the boy the jongens the tram the tram the trammen the dochter the daughter the dochters the zoon the son the zoons and the auto the car the autos the cars and then the verbs are ik heet my name is um ik woon i live ik kom i come ik spreek i speak ik schrijf i write ik luister naar i listen to ik lees i read well trinity says ik ben blij met jou hoe heet jij please u bent een mooie vrouw nou dankjewel trinity ik heet louisa ik heet louisa en elke week doen wij let's speak dutch met louisa op de radio we gaan dit tot en met december doen dus tot en met december kan jij meeluisteren naar het programma en ik hoop dat je dan nog steeds de nederlandse uh, taal blijft leren hij heet of zij heet hij of zij woont hij of zij komt hij of zij spreekt hij of zij schrijft hij of zij luistert naar en hij of zij leest ik ben hij is wij zijn zij zijn i am he is he or she is we are or they are ik heb hij heeft wij hebben or zij hebben i have he or she has and they or we have so some of the questions that you can ask based on the verbs that we learned who hates you what is your name ik hate louisa hoe ga je naar de les how do you go to the classes how do you go to the lessons ik ga met de fiets i go with the bike because i'm a bike person Hoeveel talen spreek jij? Ik spreek drie talen. How many languages do you speak? I speak three languages. Waar woon jij? Where do you live? Ik woon in Den Haag. I live in The Hague. Hoe lang woon jij al in Nederland? How long have you been living in the Netherlands? Ik woon al 23 jaar in Nederland. I've been living here for over 23 years. Uit welk land kom jij? Which country do you come from? Ik kom uit Ghana. I come from Ghana. Welke taal spreek jij? So which languages do you speak? So the first question was who feel is how many languages do you speak? And now it's being asked which languages do I speak? So those are two different questions. So the first one is how many languages do you speak? And I said I speak three languages. And now I'm being asked which languages do I speak? So this is where I say ik spreek Nederlands. Ik spreek Engels. En ik spreek Ghanese. So I speak three languages. Dus ik spreek Nederlands, Engels en Ghanese. So who for talent is how many languages do you speak? And welke talent spreek jij is which languages do you speak? So Trinity says, I will learn more from you so that I will not forget my small Netherlands. Well, that's very good. I'm happy to hear that. And ik woon in Bordeaux in Frankrijk. Dus Trinity woont in Bordeaux in Frankrijk. Nou, dat is een hele, hele, hele mooie stad. Bordeaux. So then another some questions that you can just simply answer with yes or no. So you don't have to like give a long answer. You can just say yeah, 
of nay. So when someone asks you, for example, who hates you, that you can't answer with yeah of nay. So what is your name? Yeah of nay, that you can't. But if they ask, for example, be you getrouwd? That you can say yes or no. So are you married? Yeah, nay. Be you gescheiden? Are you divorced? Yeah of nay. Heb jij kinderen? Do you have kids? Ja of nee. Heb jij een auto? Do you have a car? Ja of nee. Woon jij in Den Haag? Do you live in The Hague? Yes or no. Woont hij al lang in Nederland? Does he live long in the Netherlands? Has he been living long in the Netherlands? Ja of nee. Spreek hij Nederlands? Do you speak Dutch? Ja of nee. En spreek hij maar Nederlands? Does this person speak Dutch? Ja of nee. So let's go on to the A and the A. Like I said, it's just one letter difference, but it can mean something totally different. So mount, maand, rat, raad, mat, maat, zak, zaak, hak, haak, ram, raam, bart, baard, bal, bal, man, Man, lot, lat. So lot is a ruler and lat is late. Month is a basket and month is the month. So the spelling is almost the same, but just that one letter makes it something totally different. A mat is a doormat. A mat is a measuring cup. A hock is a, a, um, a heel. Yes, I got it correct. A heel and a hack is a hook. So those are totally different things. A man is a man, but a man is the moon. Yes. So this is where we're going to leave it for today. Next week is when we're going to have the exams by which we're going to repeat everything that we've been learning so far, including everything that we've learned in the past four weeks. Yes. So you can just go to Facebook or go to our YouTube page and then rewatch everything that we have learned so far. So be ready to win the gift card next week. First prize is 25 euros in the gift card. Second prize is 15 and third prize is 10 euros gift card that you get. It might not seem as anything, but at least we're trying to help each other to learn Dutch. So if you can learn Dutch and win something with it, that of course is perfect. Yes. So I hope that everyone had an amazing time today. I hope that we were able to learn something small today as well. Next week, I will see you same time. Like I said, we'll come earlier next week. We'll start at 1 p.m. Central European time. Yes. Next week, we'll be here at 1 p.m. to learn Dutch, to speak Dutch with one another. And like I said, do the exams too. So I hope that everyone got their pen and paper ready today. I'll be ready to tune in next week as well. Uh, here in Nederland regent that. It's raining here in, the, uh, in Holland. So the weather is not that good. But Refanissa, we'll just take it like that. Maar ik wens iedereen een hele, hele fijne dag. Trinity, dank je wel. Dank je wel for being part of today's program. Uh, you made it a lot of fun to be here today. So it's dank je wel. Merci. Since you're in, Fran uh, in France. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Uh, thank you so much for making today's lesson a very nice and educative one. And next week, see you weer. Morgen gaan wij herhalen wat we vandaag hebben geleerd. Tomorrow, we repeat what we learned today. So tomorrow, so you can tune in from one o'clock going to Let's Speak Dutch. Before that, we'll have Youth Hour with Amra from Pama, which is me. We'll have Youth Hour with Amra from Pama. And after that, we'll have Let's speak Dutch and then next week we'll come back live and do another session including the exams yes this is a hele fijne week gewenst and tot volgende week zaterdag nou doei